making movies, making songs and fighting round the world. At long last, it's the 500th chapter of Kingdom. This series truly deserves all the recognition it's receiving. I mean, if you can write for a long time and stay consistently strong, then you go out there and make a name to the world. While the 500th chapter isn't that exciting nor intensely hype as the milestone tends to be, it really didn't need to be. There is a couple of series that just put out a normal standard chapter without forcing themselves to pull out a major twist. It would be an odd flow of narrative. So I was pleased with this chapter. That said, there's something to look forward to very soon. The chapter finally shifts focus to the state of Zhao, as we need to start learning on what is going through the mind of Riboko, since he's practically the boss of this arc. Not saying he will die here, but he's pretty much the number one threat. Speaking of threat, it is alerted to them that State of Quinn Army contains about 200,000 men on the march, which scared Kaine, but not Riboku. I don't know if that's something that we should be pretty concerned about his status. He seems to be calm and not phased by their action. Although he can't see how they brought up with this decision, it is a huge number to reckon with. I'll say that he's a great general for remaining strong and have strong confidence with others. I don't recall if we have seen General Kocho before, but the way Kayane hyped him up is definitely something to look forward to. The synergy within the group is well presented. You can see that everyone remained composure and things are indeed getting interesting. The discussion between Yatanwa and Kayo Ten is a tender and encouraging moment. If you were to ask me, it does seem to be a tribute to his serious run, which actually feels appropriate to the chapter itself. The recap of the past is a nice reminder on how much of these characters have grown, though Hiki seems to be forgotten. Oof. Hang in there man. The Tongwa reflects on how much these characters have grown so much. The way on how Haishin unit managed to outpace their old self is telling. What's encouraging is that Ten has been so tense ever since the plan to evade was brought up and Yotunwa has to ease her down. The fact that Ten got upset at thinking Kanki's army was going slow shows how much stress she was on. Thankfully she is told to understand that the battle like this coming up is going to be something that they should be familiar despite the scale being larger than anything before. Minus correlation war, they know what's at stake. But that shouldn't fear them nor intimidate them after coming this far. They know that Riboko is the one that they have to be concerned with. And they even know what they need to do before his arrival. As long as they can push through, it's going to be a battle worth fighting for. Yotawa is such a smart, wise woman and it's great to see more of her character and it's going to be great to see more of the other character that is in this battlefield. I seriously think this arc may be the best one yet and trust me, that's not easy to do since all of them has been top notch. The art is pretty solid and detailed with his army scattering across the field. It's not much going on since there's no action, but it does capture the expression pretty well. I like the shots of Shin and his comrades as Yatawa is explaining the goal, indicating on how far they have gotten. It is eerie though to think that these shots could be a way of be aware of their lives. It has that death flash sense. And that worries me, especially this arc is considered a suicide mission. We don't know who's going to come back alive, it's just something that we really gotta put a lot of focus on. Shun Shuiju and his men are scouting on the enemy and see that every supply is going accordingly. Or so they think. Osen is one step ahead of them as the one they're watching is a fake transportation. Instead, they have a, another route in hiding. I don't think this is what Osen requested it because this has been going on for a while. With that said, it only shows how brilliant Osen truly is. Needless to say, a frightening opponent. This chapter is a pretty enjoyable one that the faithful battle is fast approaching as it pays a tribute to the series. It has been going on for 500 chapters. That's an impressive feat. Even if there are other series that surpass that already, 
is still impressive nonetheless. Soon we are entering a new year and we could safely say that it won't be stopping for a long time. I'm giving this chapter an 8. It's another case of a chapter that has nothing but talking and is still really enjoyable. When the action hits, all of those build-ups and discussion will be contributing to it greatly. Hence, add a lot of weight to it. Next year is going to be explosive. And you can bet it will leave a lot of greatness to remember. My thoughts are told? Don't let yours on hold. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.